Okay, 12.30, so I spent three and a half hours, nine, 10, 11, three and a half hours, 176, I think it was, I'll show you. That was the best bins day I've had yet. And that's saying a lot, because you guys have watched these videos, you know that I have found a lot of good stuff here. I'm so happy my friend Catherine is here, it's so much fun to thrift with her, and she throws me things she doesn't want, because she's really thrifting for things that's, that will sell for a lot more, like a higher average sales price. Since I only thrift once a week, I get as much as I can, but cool. KUHL. I got Reformation. I got Patagonia. I got um, some really cool dresses. I'm really kind of blown away. All this stuff for 170 bucks. I mean, amazing. A few of those um, dresses should sell for $50. That Made in Italy dress. I got a Made in Italy dress. So you guys are gonna learn some incredible brands, brands that I have just learned myself, so I'm so happy to share those with you. I'm exhausted. It's a lot, like, I'm a middle-aged woman. This is a lot on my back. <laughs> We're all in there, like, complaining about our feet and our back and everything else, kind of funny. All right, I gotta get home, feed myself, and then go pick up Torvald. All right, my situation is quite out of control. It's been a really great bins day, and, uh, I now have to sort this. The, the problem is this big maybe pile of things I have to look up. Grab this little t-shirt because I thought maybe it was Matilda Jane, which is a really good kids brand, but I think, I think it's not. I don't see any markings. So hopefully there'll be a lot of stuff in here that I can toss back. It's a really good denim brand. The Prodigy Straight Leg, that's good. This is one of these sad, painful things at the bins. Spanx, these are like in such good shape, but there's paint on them. Like I can get out a lot, but I don't think I can get out paint. I don't think. What a sad, sad, because otherwise they're like gorgeous condition. They're not faded or pilled or anything. Someone decided to paint in them. That's too bad for me, but this is a lot of people are saying this is like a really, really good epic bins day. So I would have to agree. It's just been like pretty amazing. Okay, welcome to the haul portion of the video. I am so excited to share this haul with you because this is the best thrift haul I've ever had at the bins. The best day yet. So I already made part one. So go back and watch that one if you want because there's incredible brands and styles and things in that haul and I've got a ton more to share with you. This was just a day at the bins that everyone was having a good day. I checked in with a lot of people I've met there and they were also having a good day. It was plentiful, there were great brands. I mean, I'm so very grateful and I can't wait to get this stuff listed. So let's get right into it. I really like this brand. This is a brand from Anthropology, and it's been selling better for me than other Anthropology brands. Velvet by Graham and Spencer. Velvet by Graham and Spencer. They make men's, which I did not know, and I found, I got a men's t-shirt thinking it was a women's, and um, it sold really fast, and for like $25 for a pre-owned plain black t-shirt. This is a flannel. And I really love that it has the contrasting pinstripe inside and like a blue and white flannel in a size large. Flannels sell so well for me in the, in the fall, regardless of even the brand sometimes. This is one of the best pieces I got. Doesn't look like too much, but if you're familiar with the brand, you might recognize this. The brand is Reformation, a very expensive, trendy brand. It's sold at places like Revolve, and this is so trendy, it's a medium and it's smocked. All elastic, a cute little sleeve with a ruffle, square neckline, crop top. This is so on trend, so I'm gonna get that listed immediately. Oh, I love this brand, you guys. This is my best selling kind of athletic brand for me, Pat. P-A-C-T, Sustainable Organic Clothing. Let me know in the comments, are you finding this? I'm here in Northern California and I find it I've been finding like one piece or so every time I go out sourcing and I'm so grateful because it sells so fast. This is a large 100% organic cotton, just a waffle knit and this must be a men's because it's pretty big. My guess is I'll sell this for $35 but I will check comps first and I guess is it will sell really quickly because everything from that brand 
has sold so fast for me. Oh, I love this piece. Um, it goes like this. Let me take a second just to tie the bow. These, these bows are the shoulder straps. Look how cute this is. An orange crop top, heavily embroidered, smocking at the top, and this is anthropology. This must be a newer piece. Anthropology size medium. So Anthropology has like their own line and I'm seeing a lot of this tag. This is great. It's got a little opening in the back. Oh, so, 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 so cute. Someone's going to love that. Okay, so we've had Anthropology, Anthropology, Reformation Pact, and now Free People. I know some people are saying that Free People doesn't sell well for them. A lot of people are saying that. Um, it is my best selling brand. This is an open knit cream colored sweater with kind of a nice flare sleeve, bell sleeve there. I don't know why it is. Let me know in the comments. Does free people sell well for you? And I've talked to some of you about this in the comments before. I think it has a lot to do with which free people items you're finding and, and what you're pricing them for. You know, I'm selling free people for $20, $25. Just this week alone, I sold a black t-shirt um, it had like an open back and that one sold for $19.99 plus $5.99 shipping. I sold a black t-shirt uh, that was just a v-neck oversized. It was a size large and that one sold for $24.99. So I'm, when I'm saying it sells well for me, it's in that range. Dresses go for a lot more than that. I don't know why. I've always, I've always noticed that, that a brand will sell really well for somebody and the other, another reseller can't move it. I don't know. It's a mystery to me too. This is Love Stitch. I really like this brand. It's sold at Nordstrom. They make boho-y things. And this is a peasant top and it's all lace, crochet, bell sleevey. I mean, the whole top is just all this lace and that's the back. It's so incredible. It has a knotted front. This isn't a big seller for me. I'm wearing shorts again. No one judged me out loud anyway in the comments in my last video for wearing shorts, so I'm just doing it. Um, I've sold these tops for about $14.99 plus shipping on eBay. This one's a little more special than the ones I've been selling, so I'm hoping to get maybe $19.99, but buying things at the bins, I'm okay with that. I, um, I do think it's a better business model to buy things that sell for $20 or $30. That's what I would love to do, but that requires you to go out thrifting a lot and go to several stores so you can find things that you can sell for 30 bucks. And I just don't have that time to source. I'm like a one day a week sourcer. This is a, an ivory crochet lace dress. I think it's a swim cover up because it's the brand Trina Turk. Trina Turk is one of these frustrating brands, in my opinion that retails so high and just does not have very good resale value. So I'm only picking up certain pieces. The swim does well, and I'm hoping this, because it's a swim cover-up, a swim dress cover-up, I imagine, I'm hoping that does well, but I might be regretting buying. This was a surprise. This is Michael Stars. It's a brand I know, but it's a plus size 1X. Michael Stars. I've sold this in the past. It hasn't been that great of a seller, even though I really like the styles, but it looks like the plus size tops are doing really well. This is a soft flannel popover in a 1X, and I'm thinking I'll list that for $24.99 and hope to get $24.99 or uh, at least $20. This is an anthropology piece. It's Hey Hey. It's a size small, but it's very oversized. Hey, hey, H-E-I, H-E-I, look at that tag. You just know it's probably anthropology, right? This is a, is a denim jacket. Oh, I love it so much. It's definitely oversized. It's a long denim jacket with pockets. It has a drawstring waist so you can adjust it in the back. Like I'm a size 12 and this would fit me. It's a danger to try on your inventory. I really don't recommend trying it on because then you're more likely to think you need to keep it. This is your friendly reminder to please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I put out a lot of bins hauls, unboxings, reseller related content, and I would love to have you here. And the bloopers are always at the end of the video. 
so we can laugh at me as I try and make YouTube videos, okay? So make sure you're subscribed. This is one of those puffers. It, it was in this little bag, ultra light. It's just Uniqlo or something, but I own this. It's kind of fun, like they, they get small enough to fit in that little bag. I own this in black and I love it and wear it all the time. It's super lightweight, but warm. Everyone in California wears these. It cools down here at night, even on a hot, hot summer day. So if I go for a walk or something, I put one of these on. And let's see, I've been talking nine minutes and I'm, I've gotta go faster, but I have such good stuff. If it's like a ho-hum brand that we see all the time, probably won't take any time to explain it. These are AG Adriana Goldschmied, a very expensive denim brand. I'll show you the tag. Most of us struggle to say it, so you can just say AG. Quite expensive. These are the Prodigy. I think these, yeah, these are men's. Like a dark wash. Here's the label there. AG. Now, this is the Prodigy straight leg in a men's, so I'm hoping that does well, but if you want to be sure, look up the particular style um, when you're at the thrift store. These have a flaw, but I don't care. I'm going to work on them because I think they're pretty amazing. These are Patagonia, which is still a thrill for me to find, even though I know not all the pieces sell for crazy good money anymore. These are a men's large sweatpants. They have a little hole in them. They are the softest nicest jogger sweatpants so it goes down to an elastic ankle that's a jogger a great keyword these have a great logo hit on them i think people who wear patagonia and spend that much money on it they want people to know it so they've got a nice patagonia hit right on there so as you can see there's just a little hole right here so i'm either going to mend it up really quick or list them as is they're so soft they're so nice some white, that's risky at the bins, isn't it friends? Yes it is, because it could be stained. But this is new with tag, it's Rahi, R-A-H-I. Looks like an online, it might be a boutique. This is a medium, very on trend style dress, an elastic neckline, elastic sleeves, elastic waist, and it's probably a midi tiered white dress. I have to get my water, hold on, I do this every video. Okay, friends, I'm interrupting this video to show you a few things that I got at the Goodwill Outlet bins that sold really fast. So I'm not showing you these because they're the most spectacular sales or anything. It's just because they sold quickly. Um, this is an American Eagle women's medium white romper ruffle lace eyelet boho festival sold for $13 plus shipping. And so the buyer's total for a pre-owned American Eagle romper was twenty dollars and fifty six cents and at the bins i do cost averaging so i figure it's about two dollars i'm paying per item this sold immediately it was that day that i went to the bins and there was tons of new tags this is a new tag lauren ralph lauren xl women's long sleeve hooded lightweight sweatshirt top i got so many low ball offers in the first 24 hours of having this listed um, it looks like it retailed for $69.50 with the new tag. Got it at the bins. It sold for $18 plus shipping, so the buyer's total was $25.07. This is such a gorgeous item. This is Victoria's Secret Dream Angels bra, nude white lace size 36D mesh underwire. Sold for $20 plus shipping, so the buyer's total for this pre-owned bra was $27.70. Four cents. Um, this is a friend of mine from the channel who I've got to know a viewer and has bought things for me from me in the past, and I truly appreciate it. And I think she gets to see these beautiful items in the hall and then comes over to my store to grab them, and I just appreciate her so very much. Thank you. This also sold immediately. This is a Free People XL Camden sweatshirt, oversized, open back, distressed purple. And this sold for $35 plus priority shipping. So for this pre-owned sweatshirt, the buyer paid $45.88. I think this did so well because it was an XL and kind of a cool style. But so many of you have been saying to me in the comments, I can't sell free people to save my life. And I always share that it really is one of my best selling brands. I have another uh, top that just sold a size small on Poshmark for $20. So it does it does move for me. I don't know why that's true that some brands sit for some sellers and not for others. 
guess it's just the way it goes. And I picked this up at the bins. It's nighttime. Sorry the lighting's not good, but I'll pop up a picture. This was just a fun sale to share with you. This was a Kate Spade tablecloth. I got it at the bins. It had a little spot on it, and I used my stain treating formula and got it out. And the buyer paid $39.99 for it for a pre-owned Kate Spade tablecloth. Their total with shipping was $52.85. So that is so cool from the bins. This I sort of bought for myself because I love white linen. It's a Tommy Bahama size large. I just sold a Tommy Bahama women's dress. You saw it in one of these bins hauls. It sold right away for $29.99. A, a turquoise blue dress. Um, and so I was really happy with that. This is a size large. It has a spot on it somewhere. Knotted front linen shirt. I just love that. Does it have a spot? I think what I said was at the bins, Quimby, you can get this white top, but it probably has a spot on it. Do you want to get it knowing it has a spot? And I said, yes, because I want to keep it for myself. <laughs> so there is no spot that I can see, but there might be. If it doesn't fit me, I'll sell it. Ooh, this is so gauzy. Oh, so gauzy and romantic. Super lightweight, gauzy top. This is Free People. It's Free People 1. See that little... It's a little bit of a different tag. I, I love this line. I just don't find it that often. Size small, gauzy, lightweight peasant top. Love it. Oh, I had to with this. Come on. It's a teeny tiny little Rolling Stones band sweatshirt for a baby that's 12 months. Maybe I'll send this to my nephew. My brother surprised us all and had a baby with his girlfriend. We are so excited. I have a new nephew named Miles, but I'm here in Northern California and Miles is all the way in Massachusetts. That's where I'm from, the Boston area. So my heart's a little bit broken, but they do send pictures out like every day. I don't remember buying this stuff. <laughs> it was a few days ago. Oh, this is cool. I'm going to say this correctly. So many of you have helped me. It is pronounced Athleta. I will sometimes say Athleta because I can't recall which is the right way and wrong way. And so it's athlete, Athleta. Athleta, size small. This is a newer, a newer label. And when it says designed in San Francisco, that stuff is done the best. This is so cool. It's a camo sweatshirt and it feels amazing. Okay, I talk all the time about buying bras, and I bought this set. This is like a set, if I remember correctly. It's, it's really gorgeous. It's by Aubade, A-U-B-A-D-E, Paris, and it's quite beautiful. And if I remember correctly, I found the whole set, and I need to do the hook and eye for you. I am doing it. This is quite gorgeous. This is quite a gorgeous bra. I talk up selling bras all the time in my video because it's such an easy good flip for me. I don't know, maybe we'll see the rest of this in the haul. What is this? Oh, if I didn't say it, I said it in the last video. So for some reason, there was a ton of new with tag stuff at the bins. And it was from TJ Maxx because a lot of it has the new tag and then the TJ Maxx. Why do you think? They must have donated, TJ Maxx must have donated Overstock or something. This is Lauren, Ralph Lauren in a plus size. I love selling this brand. It's a 1X. It retailed for $65. And it is a white, just a popover with a little ruffle on the neckline, a white soft feeling long sleeve tee. Thank you. So I got a bunch of it. Some of it was a kind of lower end brands that didn't retail for a lot, but I did get a bunch of it. This is Chico's in a size two. So that's like a large, and this is a very oversized silky like top. I really like this black and white print. Kind of a handkerchief-like top. Very, very silky and light. 
quick because I have so much to show you. Oh, this I just got from my mom. She's been looking for a new black tank top. I get stuff for my son, my mom, my PD, everything. Here's more of this nude tag from TJ Maxx. Marla Wynn, W-Y-N-N-E. These are a size US 14. Let me show you this name brand. New a tag. And these are a size 14 and they are a black stretchy pull on pants with some slash zippers there. Straight leg on those. What's this? I don't know. <laughs> My brain is so small. It's like, this is from days ago. Um, these are carrots. You'll notice the spelling. These are riding pants. And for as long as I've been reselling, I've always picked up riding gear when I see it because it usually sells for me pre-owned for like 30 to $45. These are a Kids XL. And you can tell the riding pants, the equestrian, because they have those patches there. And um, these look to be new. They're in excellent condition and it's expensive for parents to buy their kids riding gear. So they make it in adult sizes as well. So I pick it up in adults and kids, whatever I see it. This is a designer piece. It's a little challenging to say, Alberto Macaulay. Um, here's the tag, I'm dropping the clothes. Here's that tag, Alberto Macaulay. This is a bit of, maybe kind of like an old school designer stuff, but it still sells well. This is really pretty. It's a tie dye, it's all elastic. And then it has a flare sleeve there. It's kind of like an open front top. It feels silky, but I guess it's just polyester. So their stuff is a little bit wild looking. Oh my gosh, and now I'm gonna pull this out, okay? It's just, this is the best bins day. This is St. John. The tag is cut out inside, unfortunately, but it says St. John on there. I'm gonna show you the knit up close like this because they're, they're famous for their Santana knit. They make like sweaters. This is just a shell but it looks like a more modern piece by them. So it's a black little sweater vest, I guess. Sadly, I, oh no, there is a tag here. I was gonna say there's no other. This is wool, rayon, and acrylic. I'm gonna have to measure it for size, but still, St. John at the bins, I will take it. If you don't know, St. John's is a mature woman's brand. I'd say kind of a conservative classic brand. They do a lot of suits and suit sets, and their suits sell in the thousands of dollars at, at places like Bloomingdale's and Saks. So a very, very expensive line. What is this? What is this? This is a hoodie. Oh, this is a men's Lucky Brand medium hoodie. I've slowed down on picking up a lot of Lucky Brand, but the men's stuff still does well for me. Um, and I can sell the women's tops if I'm willing to sell them for like $12 plus shipping, sometimes 15 if it's a big size. But the Lucky Brands men's stuff does well for me. That's a nice one. And here's some more riding pants and then I've got an entire other bag. Yikes! And it's already been 20 minutes. And I know I wanna put bins footage in, so I'm just gonna have to go quicker. This is another pair of riding pants. Okay, hold on you guys, I'm gonna get the other bag. This is a ton, a ton of stuff. So hold on, okay? Be right, BRB, BRB, LOL. Okay, you guys, here's my cart so far. We're on, they haven't done a rotation or anything, but I just pulled out some St. John and some Spanx from a completely picked over bin. So I think we are going to have a good day. I'm trying to show you, but, oh, here it is. Little Santana knit St. John. So that's pretty amazing. And then some Spanx leggings. They're in here somewhere. This is like starting out with total crazy cart, right? But you know we'll sort through. I found some free people. I found some. Oh, here's those Spanx in a medium. Hmm. They're like a pull on pant super thick like a ponte knit. Wish I was a medium. So, so far so good. Catherine, you're not in black today. You have a black mask. Hello. Hello, gorgeous lady. 
Okay, here's the final damage of the cart. So I'm gonna wheel it up on this scale. Then they're gonna give me a total and then deduct the 60 pounds from the cart. My guess is I'm looking at about $200, but it's definitely one of my best bins days yet. So let's see how we do. Thank you. Okay, check this out. I have a whole other huge bag to go through with you, so. Okay, we have another bag of stuff. We're just gonna get right in, but before I do, I just wanna say thank you so much to you, my viewers. Thank you for watching these videos and for leaving me the sweetest, most supportive comments. I just appreciate it. You know, I'm just sitting here home in my living room <laughs> showing you the things that I buy. It's so fun for me to do. Um, and I just appreciate that some of you are learning something or being somewhat entertained or I'm keeping you company in some way and I've been getting such lovely feedback and I just want you to know it means a lot to me and I do appreciate it and I don't take any of it for granted at all so thank you thank you thank you for being here this is a Zara new without tags top it is a US medium I pick up Zara selectively based on style because some of it doesn't retail for a lot but some of it does this is a silky top. It's brown. It looks horrible. <laughs> I will steam it. I will put it on my mannequin. I'll make it look beautiful. But this is a trending style because it's sort of cropped and it buttons up and then it has all this ruching. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't show it to you because it just is so bad. I'm not picking up many pairs of shoes. Um, I'm only picking up shoes that are very clean and need very minimal wear this is one of my favorite shoe brands personally i love this kind of like mod style of these look at the shape of the heel this is earth e-a-r-t-h i wear this shoe brand so uh catherine gave me these she found them they're a seven and a half these look these look like they've never been worn i mean they're so clean so i love earth shoes because they're super comfortable, but I think they still make kind of cool looking styles. I can't wear very many heels and stuff anymore, but if it's this brand, now don't get it confused because there's all sorts of earth origins, earth this, earth, earth that. This is just like this. I'll show it to you again in case you're interested in shoes for yourself. I usually buy mine on eBay, E-A-R-T-H. That's all it is. Doesn't say other stuff. They're expensive shoes. They're very expensive new. Um, but I don't know, I'm hoping I can get $25 for these maybe pre-owned, but if you're looking for a super comfy pair of shoes that also has a good style, I recommend that brand. This I think is a bit of a mistake that I made. I believe this is a J. Jill top. It feels like that fabric and it's a long tunic, but the tag is cut out and I think I was going to throw it back and I just didn't. So what I will have to do, here's a little tip for my new reselling friends. I don't like to do this a lot because it's extra time. If a clothing item has the name brand tag cut out, you can look and see on the material tag and there'll be an RN number. Sometimes the name brand's right on there and you get lucky, but if not, there's a number that says RN. And then you can go on Google and, there, and search the RN. I think it's called RN Finder, or RN Searcher. And then put the RN in and it'll come up with the brand. And so I have sold things that way before. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a J. Jill top. If not, I just made a mistake. More bras at the bins. This is a Victoria's Secret bra, probably $15 on those. This was so funny. Do you guys remember? I found the same jacket that I found and sold before. So do you guys remember early on when the bins just reopened? It's only been opened a few months. It was closed for three years. Then they opened in a limited capacity just a couple days a week. They keep extending hours and adding new things, but it's taken a while. And I talked about how at $3.49 a pound, I have to buy lightweight items. I cannot buy a bunch of jeans and jackets and stuff or shoes that are super heavy because it'll cost too much. But I made an exception and I bought a jacket almost identical to this. It's kind of like a vintage J. Crew. And it sold right away as soon as I listed it. Now, what did it sell for? I want to say 45 plus 13, 49 shipping. And everyone's like, see, Quimby, that sold. So you can pick up some 
heavier stuff, just be selective. So I wanna show you this style of coat because I think it's a great seller. I call this a barn jacket, okay? Do you guys know this style? And it's got a flannel, well this one's not flannel, but it's got a plaid lining, it's an olive green. It's also sometimes called a chore coat. These sell so well. This one has corduroy, so I feel, I feel very confident that I can sell this again. I sold over the summer too, you guys. So, and I think this probably weighs not quite two pounds. So I probably paid about $5 and I hope to turn that into 45 plus shipping. Keep your eye out for those barn style coats. This is a Victoria's Secret little, sweet little negligee. Little pink negligee probably cost me 50 cents or something because it's so light. More bras, bras, bras. This I looked up because um, I have a lot of bras now. They're all selling between $15 and $20 usually plus shipping. I ship my bras in a box, so I charge $5.99 shipping. But I wasn't familiar with this brand, Chantel. And when I looked it up, it looked like a, a more expensive bra brand, so maybe I can get more like in the $20 range for that one. Oh my gosh, you guys are probably like, enough Quimby with the bras. Here's another Chantel bra. But you guys, they're so easy. They're so easy to list. This is an anthropology brand called Knot Sisters, K-N-O-T Sisters. This is a very lightweight dress. Let me try and show you this tag, but it's one of those flippies. K-N-O-T Sisters, sold at anthropology. This is a black slip dress. It has a complicated lining that is bothering me. <laughs> Let me just be honest. Super lightweight black slip dress, okay? This is one of my very best finds. And this is one of these things where I feel thankful, like I've been thrifting my whole life and reselling for so long that I feel like I can trust my instincts on certain things. This fabric just felt amazing. It almost feels like scuba, like a lightweight scuba. And the tag says made in Italy. What do I always say? I'm listening. If it says made in Italy, I'm usually picking it up. At the very minimum, look it up, okay? I've never heard of this brand, brand, Chiara Bonnie, La Petite Robe, made in Italy. I'm gonna leave the tag up there for a minute so you can see it. The comps on this dress look amazing. I will pop it up. This is a, an incredible, probably one, one time kind of find. I've never found it before. It's a blue shift dress and it has a very unique sleeve. I think the entire, it's not a cold shoulder. The entire sleeve is open. It feels so amazing. So big, big bin score on that. If you guys saw my last haul, part one of this, some of the dresses, two of the dresses from that haul are going to sell over $100 that I got at the bins. And I didn't know the brands. I just said, ah, oh, this looks familiar. Maybe I've heard it or this is a cool style. I looked it up. This is Pilcro. This is a new anthropology piece, Pilcro. New because it used to be Pilcro in the letterpress and now they're just doing Pilcro. A sweet little Henley, that's the neckline there, that style of neckline with the buttons. Waffle ribbed anthropology Henley. Bras, bras, bras. I'm just seeing if this is one I need to show you in case you're trying to learn more about bras. This is another Chantel bra. This is an art to wear, log on look, boho -y type of item. It is a jacket by Ice, I see. The tag says I see by Connie K. I see by Connie K. I'm trying to let you see. <laughs> This has reasonable comps, pretty good comps. Um, this is a silver metallic jacket with a very strange wired ruffle collar. So you can like, has a wire through it so you can adjust it. Big giant buttons, silver metallic jacket. I will put lag and look. I will put artsy, art to wear, boho in my title and get that baby sold. How about it? In my last part one of this haul, I found Three cashmere sweaters, 100% cashmere. Just photographed those this morning. This is a new to me brand, Blanky, B-L-A-N-Q-I. There's some sort of like, I don't know if they're post maternity legging, something like that. They're new with tags. They were $88, hipster contour legging. Um, 
this is some sort of high rise i think it might be like high rise some type of support legging but they were new with tags with an 88 dollar tag so i figure maybe i can get 20 for them or something what a gorgeous sweater what is this Ooh, this is really good i bought it flawed because i think it's so good did you guys see my video where i bought an entire box of ralph lauren from helpsy source helpsy source is a wholesale company they sell boxes for resellers I have a link down in the description. I have a discount go down in the description. And on this channel, I have lots of videos where I'm unboxing things from Helpsy. And it helps me just get more inventory. And I got um, a Ralph Lauren box and there are so many things to learn about the brand Ralph Lauren. There's so many different labels that they use. So some are worth a lot of money and some just do okay. This is Denim and Supply. Denim and Supply is special because they no longer make it. They really focused on like Southwestern, kind of like New Mexico vibes. And this sweater has a stain on the front. I'm very well aware of it, it's right there. But it's a, I think it's an XL. It's an, it's an XL boxy striped sweater. So I'm just gonna put my stain treating formula on that and um, get that one sold that's a good line because it's no longer made and some people really like it this is a very cute sweatshirt i think i'm keeping for myself it's by cozy it's like a rusty kind of orange color hooded sweatshirt oh this catherine asked me if pd wanted and i said i think he might it's columbia sports parlor i think this is vintage vintage columbia but it's like a cool graphic on there I think it's like maps and the Pacific Ocean and traveling. So I'm going to see if he wants that. We're almost done. I love you guys so much for hanging out with me. I don't know this brand, Industry Republic Clothing, but this is a linen top. So maybe industry. Maybe it'll be something good. I bought it because I love the style. Oh, these I wanted to try on myself. Again, new with tags from Marshalls max studio i love this brand but it doesn't resell for a lot sold at macy's obviously tj Maxx, but these are an xl pinstripe linen pants black and white pinstripe elastic waist and they're tapered they come down to a narrow ankle and they have a belt so i'm gonna try those on if not i'll sell them isn't this amazing you guys how much good stuff how much good brands is in here this is entro one of the women that works there gave it to me because she said it would look so good on me. Um, it only retailed for $34, so I thought I'd keep it for myself. So I'm not saying run out and buy this brand because I don't think it's a very high, expensive brand. I don't know what the resale is on it. it might be boutique, but it's a rusty colored peasant top with a ruffle. She just said, oh, with your hair, you have to wear this. And I said, all right, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> All right, last piece. It's another love stitch. This is probably like a $15 flip. I love this brand personally. They make the best peasanty stuff. Um, love stitch. Oversized peasant top with a balloon sleeve. So I'm so grateful. Mostly grateful for you being here watching this video with me. I appreciate you. Hope you enjoy the bloopers. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to take an extra minute to get this camera right today because, whoa, I'm way down here. <laughs> if you hear some background noise, my son is upstairs playing Minecraft with his friends, so you'll hear laughs and screams. I've got the dishwasher going. I've got the air conditioning running. This is my life. I do not have like a separate studio to film videos. We are in my living room. Tina Turk. Trina Turk? Tina Trina. Tina, Trina, Trina Turk. <laughs> you try and say it at home. Don't know if this is any good. <coughs> mm -mm. The, the video I filmed a few days ago, I just looked at it and I, it's a very bad angle. And it's like, what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna re-record the entire video. I've already, I've already processed that stuff. So I just have to be smarter and better at setting the camera up in the beginning 
so that, oh my god, too many pillows. This one will be cute though, right? Let's put that one in there. <coughs> Hopefully that water helps. Mm, 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 mm. That's fantastic. A two is like a large, but they're, what would it be the equivalent? Some of the newer tags are telling us blah, 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 blah. But if, if a shirt, if I, uh, no, speak. It's a rust orange linen cop, crop top, cop top, no. I literally just went to get a sip of my water and stepped all over the giant pile of inventory that's sitting here, okay, you guys? It's that bad. <laughs>